Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and this lesson is about angles. We're going to talk about angles that are acute, obtuse, and right angles. We're also going to talk about parallel versus perpendicular. And to finish things off, we will discuss supplementary and complementary angles. So we've got a lot of ground to cover today. Let's get started. Angles. Here are three pictures of different angles. Let's start in the middle. This is a right angle. A right angle has a measurement of 90 degrees. Right angles are the building blocks of pretty much everything we build. Um, corners tend to be 90 degrees. When we build something upright, they tend to be 90 degrees to the floor. Um, so 90 degree angles are very common, right angles. And we base our other angles' names off of the right angle. So on the left, you see this little angle. It's so cute. It's so tiny. Um, this is called an acute angle. And it is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So anything from 1 degree up to 89 degrees, right in that area, um, it could be you know, 89 and a half, but that's not important. Anything that's less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. The other angle over here on the right is called an obtuse angle. And that's any angle that measures greater than 90 degrees. So anything from, from 90 degrees, larger than 90 degrees, all the way to being a straight line, which is 180 degrees. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So it's an angle measurement that's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, or between the straight right angle and being a, a completely straight line in between those. Um, let's also now talk about naming angles. When we name angles, we name them based on points. So here's an example of an angle that has, this line has two points, U and R, and this line has two points, U and T. They meet here at what we call our vertex, and we would name this angle, angle RUT or angle TUR. So you, you name them in order with the, the vertex of the angle as the middle letter. Let me do another one here for the, our acute angle. This is angle BAD, bad. It's a bad angle. Um, we've got a rut, and we've got a bad. And then we've got the angle. All right, this angle is named angle T-H-E. Um, and that angle is based, again, off of the points. So this is how you name an angle. Notice I used all capital letters. That's what we do when we're labeling points. And these are just points that are along each of these lines. Changing gears a little bit, let's talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are lines that never cross each other. So they go like this. They're like railway tracks. They just keep going and going and going in straight lines, and they will never intersect with each other. Perpendicular lines are lines that do cross, and they cross at 90 degree angles. So these two lines will cross, making a 90 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here, another right angle here, and another right angle here. So there are four right angles that you see there as these two lines are perpendicular. So they are at a 90 degree angle to each other. So that's perpendicular lines. And our last part, supplementary and complementary angles. Supplementary angles are angles that add up to being 180 degrees. And 180 degrees is a straight line. So here's an example. If I have this angle here, and this angle here, when I move them together, notice that if you added up the angle measurements, this angle measurement and this angle measurement, you would get a full straight line. That's a supplementary angle. So if this angle is 50 degrees, this angle would be 130 degrees because 50 plus 130 gives us 180 degrees. All right? That's how supplementary angles are given. So if you're given a straight line and you're given just one of the angle measurements, you can figure out the other one because they have to add up to 180 degrees. Complementary angles work the same way. 
So if I have these two angles, their complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So instead of adding up to um, a straight line, these ones will add up to a right angle. So let's go ahead and move them together, merge them together, and I'll put in a little square there. That's the symbol indicating that it is a right angle. It'll have a little square in the corner there. So if angle CAT is equal to 50 degrees, then angle RAT would be equal to 40 degrees because rat plus cat equals 90 degrees. All right, angle CAT plus angle RAT will equal a 90 degree angle. That means that they are complementary angles. So, quick recap we talked about acute, obtuse, and right angles, parallel versus perpendicular, supplementary, and complementary angles. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.